Hey everyone, Al Shark Teeth here, and um, we're gonna be going over a double. We're gonna be doing a dually today, going over Zombie Apocalypse mod and uh, Real Time Settler Betsy Betsy Cow mod, whatever the hell they call it. So yeah, um, let's do. So I have two mods combined. One mod is Real Time Settler, in which you can build your very own. Um, kind of like the Wasteland Defense one. Betsy is a little bit more popular. It's so basically you get this little cow and then you can just you get this uh, bell and you can basically there's two options you can do. You can either play hardcore mode is basically like playing an actual real-time strategy game where you have to gather resources, you have to build mines and recruit workers and send them to do things and it's very hard, very confusing. So Right now, I'm just going to do the very simple version, which is basically you can just build anything you want, no resources, and just build bases. There's no guards. You can't build guards like in Wasteland Defense. So let's do let's do blueprinting. Now, blueprinting is when you select an object and then you can copy it. So it's kind of like Control C. So I hit C. And now this is a blueprint, and then we go into our bell, which I have um, set as my hotkey one. And then we go to start object spawning, and it uh, gives us a little, little guy. And I'm using my mouse wheel to go through these. I'm going to go to blueprints. I'm going hit, um, I'm going to hit E. Sometimes it doesn't like to work. And now we got this. And basically it's just like Wasteland Defense where we can rotate any way we want. So it's pretty neat. And then I just hit C, and then they're like, oh, you, you sure? And I hit C again. I'm like, all right, we'll build it, I guess. So basically, you can do this for any object in the entire game. Um, I'm not sure if you can do it with weapons. You can't do it with NPCs, I know. At least a good amount. So yeah, if we were doing the other mode, where we had to gather resources. See, this has like camping tools, and we could build like uh, wells and stuff, and houses for our people. But since we're not doing that, we don't need to build any of that poop. So yeah, basically, as you can see, I've obviously changed um, this whole uh, this outpost here, and now. There's a zombie coming. So yeah, zombie apocalypse. I tried to do a video on this before, but um, it just didn't come out good. Um, basically, it just spawns zombies throughout the wasteland, and you gotta survive. I always have God mode on before I start the videos. So yeah, and what I really like about zombie mode is um, you get to uh, there's variables you can change. You just saw me there change this one. There's about eight eight uh, different variables you can change. They give them to you when you download the mod. Basically, you can set like how hard the zombies are, how many appear, how many uh, how quickly they spawn and stuff. So instead of just walking around aimlessly trying to fight off zombies, I've set up a little road map for me. So I'm going to try to survive. God mode's off. Yes, it is. I'm going to try to survive. It is... I don't know what time it is. Is a zombie coming after me? And you may be wondering, why did I leave Rex? Why'd you leave Rex behind? Well, I don't know why, but... Zombies are only uh, effective in very, very large clusters, so... I'm just gonna leave Rex there, cause he kills them really quickly. So as you can see, this is a little outpost, not very good. But here's another one I built. So basically, I've kind of built like little rest stops for me, so when zombies do appear, which they really don't seem to be wanting to appear, now do they? This isn't really helping me.
keep in mind, just like in um, Wasteland Defense, um, if NPCs, um, crap, if NPCs, crap, now if NPCs want to get into some place bad enough, which they always do, they can, because I've seen zombies run through fences and shit, so, and here they come, now we got a good amount coming. Oh, yeah. Zombies will attack, um... Okay, sorry about that. A uh, rocket blew through our roof. I had to help my dad fix it. Okay, so, let's get on the roll. Let's say... Let's try to get to, uh... The actual rest stop. Oh, fuck me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, if anyone is ever wondering what it looks like when my frame rate drops, you're gonna get a great first look. And I'm out of bullets. Yeah, so basically this is why I have a million zombies on, is because when they're alone, they're really... they just suck, and they don't do anything. And they clan't they clant. They can't climb down hills. Ooh. This is my friend. His name is Red Scorpion. Mr. Red Scorpion. We gotta get out of here. I'll help you. My Red Scorpion is named Charles. We've been friends since preschool. Dear Lord. Charles, we gotta get out of here, man. Charles, man, we gotta, we gotta go, man. Charles. Oh fuck, Charles. Charles. Oh my God, Charles. <laughs> Fucking Charles. Fuck. <laughs> Gotta put some. Oh crap! My face. Oh god! I'm gonna get brutally raped by zombies. Uh oh. Go uh, away. Dirty apes. It's a sad day. Killed my rat a scorpion friend. It's just me now. Dirty bastards. Only giving me one XP. That's just that's just lame. Oh look, they're happy. They're like, come on, lay down with us. They're trying to hold hands over here. See, I'm I was stereotyping these guys, and now no now I know. I'm gonna sleep here till the morning, which is in two hours. I had a good rest standing up. This world has gone to hell. I've killed everything I love. I killed everyone. They killed the boomers. They killed the, the good springers. Which was basically just old people. They killed all the old people. They killed all the young people. They killed Charles. Charles is my best friend for 28 years, and I'm only 30. I knew him since I was two. Two. Let's do some Spanish. 
The only thing they can take away from me, the only thing they can kill, is my goddamn faith. And I'm gonna show them just how strong it is. Looks like I'm checking in.